Hey everyone, ready for a deep dive into some seriously cool tech? Always. We're talking about D-Wave Quantum Inc., a company making waves, big waves, in quantum computing. That's right. It's a fascinating company. Absolutely. And we love to get our hands dirty with the details, so you've sent us some info on them. We have. And we're going to break it all down, yeah. figure out what really matters. Exactly. What are we waiting for? Let's dive right in. D-Wave, quantum computing, yeah. soaring stock mind-blowing applications, ambitious plans. It's going to be a wild ride. Let's start with the basics, who they are and what they do. Sounds like a plan. Take it away. All right. So D-Wave, they're based in Burnaby, British Columbia. Okay. Canada. Yep. But they also have a presence in Palo Alto, California. Ah, Silicon Valley. Makes sense. But here's the thing that really sets them apart. They're known as the world's, wait for it, first, commercial supplier of quantum computers. Whoa. The first. Really? Yep. First one out the gate. That's a pretty bold claim to fame. So they're not just tinkering around in the lab. They're actually building and selling these things. That's right. They're out there making it happen. Okay, so before we get too deep, let's talk tech. What kind of quantum computing are we talking about here? What makes D-Wave's approach special? Good question. Their specialty is something called annealing quantum computing. Annealing. An annealing. Okay, I'm going to need a little more on that. What is annealing quantum computing and why is it so powerful? Okay, so think about it this way. It's particularly good at solving these really complex optimization problems. Optimization problems. Yeah, the kind of problems that would make a regular computer go crazy. Okay, I'm intrigued. Give me some examples. What kind of problems are we talking about? Logistics, AI training, drug discovery, cybersecurity. Oh, those are some pretty big deals. So D-Wave is tackling those kinds of challenges with their quantum computers. They are. And they're doing it with some serious heavy hitters. Their client list includes names like MasterCard. MasterCard, wow. Ford. Even NASA. NASA, okay. They've got my attention. I told you, they're the real deal. So they've got this incredible tech. And they're working with some of the biggest names in the world. No wonder everyone's talking about them. And that brings us to their stock performance. Ah, yes, the stock. Mm. D-Wave has been making headlines lately. And for good reason. Tell me about it. On December 6th, 2024, it closed at $5.06. Okay. A gain of over 34% in just one day. One day. That's a jump that would make anyone sit up and take notice. What's fueling that kind of enthusiasm? Is it just hype? Or is there something more substantial going on? Consider this. Year to date, the stock has surged a staggering 517%. 517%. Okay, that's not just hype. That's a whole lot of people putting their money where their mouth is. Exactly. Their market cap is now over a billion dollars. D-Wave is a major player. All right. We've got this groundbreaking technology. We've got the market going wild. But I got to ask, are they actually delivering on all this promise? Can you give us some concrete examples of how D-Wave is making a real world difference? Oh, absolutely. For example, they helped Pattison Food Group. A large grocery chain. Okay. Grocery chain. Not exactly what I pictured when I thought about quantum computing. But they had this massive problem, scheduling their workforce. Super complex. D-Wave came in and helped them optimize the whole thing. And what kind of results are we talking about? They reduced the effort needed to create those schedules by a whopping 80%. 80%. 80%. That's incredible. What does that translate to in the real world? Tons of time saved. Money saved. Less stress for everyone. And that's just one example. Okay, so they're actually making a tangible difference. Solving real problems. I'm impressed. And they're not done yet. There's another great example. Ford Otisan. D-Wave helped them cut scheduling time by a remarkable 83%. 83%. 83%. That's mind-blowing. So they're not just talking the talk. They're walking the walk. They are. All right. I'm convinced D-Wave is doing some seriously impressive things. But what about the people behind it all? Are they out there championing this technology, getting recognized for their work? Oh, absolutely. Even D-Wave CEO, Dr. Alan Baratz, he's been making the rounds. Yeah. He was recently on Fox Business talking about D-Wave's accomplishments, how they're pioneers in the field, and how their systems are already making a real difference. It's always inspiring to see a leader who's genuinely passionate about what they're doing. It adds another layer of credibility. I agree. And it's not just talk. They're also out there showcasing their tech at major industry events like the Q2B24 Silicon Valley Conference. Okay, so they're putting themselves out there, making sure everyone knows about quantum computing and what D-Wave is doing. Exactly. They're serious about bringing this technology to the mainstream. That's exciting. It is. But let's get real for a second. What's Wall Street saying about all of this? 
Are the analysts as bullish on D-Wave as the market seems to be? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It is. While there's definitely a lot of excitement surrounding D-Wave, the analysts are, they're being a bit more cautious. Cautious, how? Their average 12 month price target is $3.19. Which is actually lower than where the stock is trading right now. Exactly, so they're suggesting the market might be getting a little ahead of itself. Interesting, so they're saying hold your horses. Kind of. It's important to remember that quantum computing while incredibly promising, is still a relatively new field. There are risks involved. That's a good point. We can't get caught up in all the hype and forget about the reality. Exactly. So even though they're setting a lower price target, what's the overall sentiment from the analysts? Are they optimistic about D-Wave's long-term prospects? Here's where it gets interesting. Despite that cautious price target, Five analysts have given D-Wave a strong buy rating. A strong buy. Really? Yep. There's definitely a level of confidence there in their ability to navigate this emerging market. It sounds like a classic high-risk, high-reward situation. Investors are weighing that incredible potential against the unknowns that come with any groundbreaking technology. Exactly. We've got this company with game-changing tech, a soaring stock price, mm. but they're still working towards profitability in a highly competitive landscape. It's a lot to take in. It is, but it's a fascinating story, and it's only just beginning. Okay, I'm hooked. So where do we go from here? What else do we need to know about D-Wave to really understand their position in this whole quantum computing revolution? To really get a grasp on what makes D-Wave unique, we need to delve a little deeper into their approach to quantum computing and how it differs from other companies in the field. All right, let's do it. So let's talk about the future. D-Wave's got some big plans. Oh, yeah. Fill me in. What are they cooking up? For one, they're working on even more powerful quantum computing systems. Even more powerful. What does that even mean at this point? It's already so advanced. What's the timeline on that? When can we expect to see these super systems? They're aiming for late 2024 or early 2025. So pretty soon, actually. That's exciting. So they're really pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Are they looking to branch out into any new areas? Or are they staying laser focused on their current applications? Oh, they're definitely branching out. They're looking at finance, healthcare, logistics. Wow. Those are huge. Mm -hmm. Imagine quantum computers helping with financial risk, personalized medicine, global supply chains. Exactly. The possibilities are mind blowing. It really feels like we're standing at the edge of a whole new era. Every company, even one as innovative as D-Wave, faces challenges. What are some of the hurdles they might encounter on their path to quantum domination? For one, the competition is heating up. There are companies like IonQ and Rigetti. They're making some serious moves in the quantum computing space. So D-Wave can't just rest on their laurels. They need to stay ahead of the game. Exactly. It's a constant race to innovate. Makes sense. And what about their financials? We talked about their stock, but are they actually profitable? That's a key question. Right now, D-Wave is still operating at a loss. Their trailing EPS is Natusser dollars and 41 cents. Okay, so they're not quite in the black yet, but the market is definitely betting on their future success. They are, it's a bit of a gamble for sure. It is. So we've got this company with this amazing technology, a stock that's going through the roof, but they're still working towards profitability and they're facing some fierce competition. It's a lot to unpack. I bet our listeners are like, whoa, hold on. What does this all mean? It's a lot to digest, but it highlights something really important. It shows how cutting edge technology can completely shake up the market. And capture the imagination of investors. Exactly. It's a story of potential and ambition mm. and a reminder that investing in new technologies, it always comes with a degree of risk. So it's a balancing act, yeah. the excitement of what's possible but also a realistic assessment of the challenges and uncertainties. Totally. As always, it's super important to do your own research. Think about your own investment goals before making any decisions. Couldn't agree more. This deep dive has given us a lot to think about. But to really get D-Wave, we need to go a little deeper into the nitty gritty of their quantum computing. Yeah, how it actually works, how it's different from what other companies are doing. Sounds good to me. Let's get technical. <laughs> Okay, so we're ready to get technical. Give us the inside scoop on how D-Wave's quantum computers actually work. We keep hearing about this annealing thing. What's the deal with that? All right, let's try to picture it. Imagine a crazy landscape with mountains and valleys. I'm picturing it. Okay, now the goal yeah. is to find the lowest point in that whole landscape. Okay, so like the deepest valley. Exactly. Now a regular computer might try to climb each mountain, mm -hmm. measure its height, Super time consuming. Especially if there are a ton of mountains and valleys. Exactly. So inefficient. Okay. 
So what's the alternative? What if you could just tilt the whole landscape? Tilt it. Yeah, and let gravity pull everything down to the lowest points. Oh, that's clever. Right, that's how annealing quantum computing works. Whoa, so instead of slogging through each possibility, it's like letting nature do the work. You got it. It's using the principles of quantum mechanics to just naturally settle into that optimal solution. It was like a shortcut, a super efficient shortcut. It is. And that's why it's perfect for those optimization problems we were talking about, yeah. like finding the best delivery route, optimizing financial portfolios, that sort of thing. Okay. That makes sense. But how does this annealing approach compare to what other companies are doing in quantum computing? Like we hear about IonQ and Rigetti, they're focused on something called gate model quantum computers, right? That's right. Gate model is more like traditional computing. It uses a series of logical operations, gates, to manipulate quantum bits. Quips. So it's a more general purpose kind of approach. You could say that. Theoretically, it can handle a wider range of problems. So is it like D-Wave chose a specific tool for a specific job, and others are trying to build a Swiss army knife? Yeah, that's a pretty good analogy. And it's caused some debate in the quantum world. Some folks think D-Wave's focus limits them. Ah. Uh. Like they're putting all their eggs in one basket. Kind of. But others are impressed with their results and the fact that they're already out there in the market. It's like the tortoise and the hare all over again. Exactly. Only time will tell who wins this race or if there's room for everyone. Or maybe they both have their strengths. Uh. But for now, D-Wave's annealing tech. It's definitely making waves. No pun intended. Oh, I think the pun was intended. Maybe a little. But they're not just doing this all alone. They're partnering with other companies and institutions, Google, NASA, Lockheed Martin. They're all working with D-Wave to explore this tech. Smart move. Collaborate and conquer. So we've talked about a lot today. D-Wave stock, their technology, the challenges they face, the competition. It's a lot. As we wrap up this deep dive, can you leave our listeners with one key takeaway? I think the biggest thing to remember is this quantum computing. It's not science fiction anymore. It's here. It's here. And companies like D-Wave are proving that. It has the potential to change everything. Absolutely. So it's been a fascinating journey. And thanks for being our guide. And to our listeners, thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of D-Wave and quantum computing. Catch you next time.